So good evening and welcome to the annual conference of the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation. Uh, my name is Logan Mardani Bain. I'm a 2013 Trudeau scholar and I'll be a co mc this year along with my fellow 2013 scholar, Anna Louise Crago. Uh, a note this year for the first time, the foundation is uh, video recording the conference. Um, and this is in part to capture the proceedings and in part to, uh, to capture our reflections as a community on what we're learning from the session. So if you do see videographers uh, throughout these two days, please do feel free to approach them, speak with them, share your impressions, share your reflections, your feelings on the speakers and so on. We do very much want to hear from you. This year's conference theme is building community, ideas for the future of citizenship and belonging. And so to help us begin on a note of respect and acknowledgement, I'd like to introduce Gil Selim, who's a Squamish and Kwakwakiawak educator, public speaker, and artist, best known for his advocacy and activism on indigenous language revitalization. And he's here to offer us a welcome to the territory. So, Gil Selim. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'd like to begin by sharing uh, a, a prayer that comes from my language, uh, one of the two indigenous languages to the city of Vancouver in this territory. So I'm gonna offer a prayer in my language. Uh, I'll give you a translation as best as I can. Uh, and then I'll share a few words uh, for many of you that are perhaps uh, coming to Vancouver and experiencing the territory of my ancestors and the territory of the ancestors of the Squamish Tsleil-Waututh and Musqueam people who have lived here since time immemorial. So I'll share a prayer in my language. And I, I share this prayer, it's, a, it's actually a prayer to my ancestors uh, for the language. Uh, and for myself and my teachers and, and my elders, um, they often shared these words that prayer for us is really just about giving thanks and about gratitude. Uh, and so uh, however you pray or however you show gratitude, this is just meant to be uh, in the spirit of that uh, deep gratitude that we all feel for the things that we may receive in our lives or the things that we may have the benefit of enjoying as the next generation to carry on what was handed down to us before. So I'll share the prayer and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it means in the language. Tanoyap swa'amchit wethna tenachit. Echit chain to kalkolom chit to nam tlanoya. Echit nahuelts on tan kwala anchit to nam tlanoya. Echit wa eighty wa kamen to us nachem. Nameth to manman tlas hopmish athtach. Nameth to am amets tlas hopmish salsetto. Echit hutch hutch. Eoch ta as nechum, eoch ta as noayeth. Slate chit quiz chawat omoth auch, it te was quail. Slate chit quiz hutch hutches chit, eoch ta a snechum. Nuts on tum, ta se ocha. Ocho talt noch ta snechum chit, me hat e ta as quawan. Nath west te ma ta scopmish oath, stalmoch, e. To swam chit, nath tena amen. Hot quis tema, tomat quitsi quian snitchum. So, in my language, uh, what I said was to you, my ancestors, that we come from. I raise my eyes to you. I raise my head to you. I open my ears to you so that I may swallow your words. On this day, I ask you to come and help us. I ask you to help us remember all of your advice and your ways and your words. Today, we remember what was said by our elders. If you learn the language or you learn the words, it'll make your heart feel glad again. On this day, we thank you, and that's the way it is. Those are my words. We'll see them. That's actually the first time I've ever translated that prayer uh, on the spot, and I've, I'm, I just realized how pretty it is. 
Uh, it sounds even prettier in my language, I can guarantee that. Um, so I, I want to welcome you all here, and I, I wanted to share this prayer. I, I, I believe that one of the ways in which um, territories or lands or countries are made into a place that people recognize as being their own or being someone else's is through language. Of course, language is a communication tool. It's a way we express our ideas, a way we form our ideas, a way we form relationships. But it's also a symbol. And you know, I'm struck today, as in many days, thinking about the way in which this country has uh, so much to be proud of, of course, including you know this this uh, acceptance today this mainstream kind of acceptance of the fact that Canada has these two languages that form its narrative, form the story. And as we enter into the, you know, the 150 year anniversary of, of this country, for indigenous people and for a lot of people across this country, it's a time for us to reflect on what does that mean, 150 years of Canada. And so I, I, I do work with the language and I wanted to say a prayer for the language as a way to share with each and every one of you this territory. The way in which that if you were to travel to another country in the world, the way that you knew you were in another country was because you were hearing the language of that country. And so as you enter in or as you live or work or participate in this land that is now called Vancouver, I wanted to share with you the language that comes from this country, one of the two languages that come from this country. And so my ancestors have lived along the shores of the Broad Inlet and the English Bay and, and the False Creek. Um, sharing this land with our relatives from Chomatskliem and our relatives from Slewit Oth and my ancestors, the Schotmish, as uh, brothers and sisters to this territory. I just wanted to offer uh, greetings and welcome to each and every one of you, a, a practice that my people have been uh, remembering for thousands of years, the practice of recognizing our guests and welcoming them into our home and taking care of them while they are here. And while there may not have been any formal requests to uh, come and occupy our territory, uh, <laughs> we'll work on that. We'll work on that. We're getting there. Um, today, it's, it's really important that we recognize the, the ancestors that come from this land because for thousands of years, the water that flows through the veins of our mountains and the earth that has settled on this land is filled with the DNA from the bones of my ancestors. And so wherever you walk, wherever you stand, wherever you work, you are standing on indigenous land in this, in this city. And so it's very important to recognize that and to honor that and to think about that as we do the things that we do for our families and for our communities and for ourselves, uh, especially in the time of all this, this reconciliation that all Canadians are being invited to participate in. So I just want to welcome you all to the territory of the Squamish and the Tsleil-Waututh and the Musqueam people. And I raise my hands to each and every one of you and thank you for being here. Osiem. Thank you, Phil Salem, for those uh, very touching words of welcome, but I think also a challenge to us as we move forward with this conference to inhabit a version of diversity and inclusiveness and pluralism that is uh, grounded, that is community engaged, that is deeply historically rooted. So thank you for, for starting us off on that note. Uh, I would now like to invite us all to take a moment to thank the McCall McBain Foundation for their unprecedented $2 million match challenge, which is supporting a number of Trudeau Foundation initiatives that many in the room are involved in, uh, including uh, this conference. So please join me in a round of applause. <laughs> and so now the man himself, Mr. John McCall McBain, uh, chair of the board of the directors of the Trudeau Foundation is here to offer some welcoming remarks. So John. Thank you. Well, first of all, welcome to the traditional lands um, and also welcome to Vancouver on those traditional lands. Um, as you probably know, this year's theme is one of our target areas of inquiry, um, looking at plurality, uh, sorry, pluralism, diversity, and the future of citizenship. Um, the board of directors of the Trudeau Foundation met this morning, and I think we had a good meeting and uh, good attendance. And then the Trudeau Foundation is divided into two. We have a members who actually decide on who the board of directors are and the members that are meeting this afternoon. So we're very happy for all of our leadership to be here with management members and, and uh, 
directors here in Vancouver. Um, we have four sponsors, big sponsors for the conference. We have the Bank of Montreal, I'd like to thank, who's our principal conference sponsor. We have the Panacari Foundation, the Robert and Ying Burks. The McLean Group, and I think uh, Jason and AJ McLean and David and Brenda McLean are here, David and Brenda right here. And uh, the Rennie Foundation is Bob Rennie and Carrie Folk. So we want to thank them, I think, for their sponsorship of the, I, I know, <laughs> for their sponsorship of the, of the conference. So I think if everybody's aware, the Trudeau Foundation was founded about 12 years, a little over 12 years ago now, and it was decided to have critical reflection in Canada on four important areas for Canadians. Human rights and dignity, responsible citizenship, Canada's role in the world, and people in their natural environment. Now to act on those more precisely, we decided to, with Morris um, Rosenberg to look at three target areas of inquiry. Uh, one of which we're discussing today, and not just looking at it once at the conference, but to look at them in more detail, to try to move towards some action, policy changes, and some understanding in our country about these issues, not just for one conference. So this, this is the first area. Our second area is water, energy, and food security, for which we'll be having more engagement. And thirdly is Indigenous relations in Canada. So we're hoping these areas, which are linked to our four areas of inquiry, these areas of inquiry, which link to our four main themes, will get us more active and more participatory in the community on really looking at these issues very seriously. Um, we're very happy to pool our efforts with these things. We're pooling our efforts between our scholars, we're about 15 new scholars, PhD candidates around the world, mostly in Canada, that come every year. We have fellows who are distinguished professors across Canada, and we have mentors who help those uh, students to um, not only get their PhDs, but also to engage them in this, in this discussion. Um, so I'd just like to thank uh, all the people who are here we're hoping that these discussions will make Canada a better place and a better world, and uh, enjoy the conference. Thank you. <laughs>